Hey guys, Mr. Catlin here, and um, I'm posting this video to help some of the students that are a little ahead of the game with their scale drawing. And this is a, a, a computer program called SketchUp. It's a 3D modeling program. Uh, it's used online by several different people. We're going to use the free version. So if you just go to Google, type in Google SketchUp, and look up SketchUp free, it'll be like this link right here after you type in Google SketchUp. Then you're going to have the option to uh, start modeling using this program. And and I've seen several people, uh, blogs, online, YouTube, that use this program to create, you know, scale drawings of shapes, different things. We're going to do just a basic uh, 2D drawing, although we could make it 3D, and you can play around with that if you want to. But you're going to click on Start Modeling. It's going to load up uh, Google SketchUp. Now, while that's loading, let me show you what the what the initial screen looks like. It's going to give you uh, a image of a person standing there, so you have a little bit of a reference of where you're at. And then you've got all these tools over here to the side. All right. And uh, as as you log in, as you load up the program, you're going to have something like this, where you can click on Start Modeling. It might ask you to log in with a, a Google account. So you should be able to get to that. But as you start modeling and, cre and creating a new SketchUp version, this is uh, what you will see to start. So the first thing that you want to do to get this into a two-dimensional view so you can actually do your walls and your, and your furniture and your room digitally, uh, what I did, and this might not be the only way to do this, you can play around, but I, I clicked on, I was going to uh, just build a basic rectangle over here. So you kind of have to click and drag. So you'll you'll hold down your click and drag and create a just create a small rectangle to start. Two finger click on that. So two finger click. If they have a mouse, right click. And you're gonna get these options. And what I did is I aligned the view where it gave me like an overhead view of this rectangle that I just drew. So there was that person that was standing there. And here is this. Now you're probably going to need a lot more space because that rectangle I drew is only like a foot long. So what, what you need to do is you need to bring your cursor, your mouse over here, and then two finger scroll, or if you've got a mouse, the wheel, like zoom in, zoom out wheel, uh, start start hitting that. Now if your cursor's up here, it's not going to zoom. Uh, if your cursor's in here, it's not going to zoom the way that I, that I like. So move it down here in this area, and what it's going to do is it's going to give you plenty of space over here to the side to draw your room. Okay, so that little rectangle is just kind of like a starting point for us. All right, and then what I did is I just grabbed the line drawing tool, which is here, and then I clicked on the corner of the, rec the little rectangle that I started, and then uh, you can start drawing your wall. So you can go up and draw your vertical wall first or out. Me, personally, I was doing, let's see if I got a copy of it. Yeah, I got it right here. So I was doing this one. Uh, and so the bottom wall was like 174 uh, inches. And so uh, to be able to make like an exact length on here, you just you you point it in the direction you want to go. And then you literally type in 174. And then they want to make sure you know whether it's feet or inches. So I want to hold down shift and hit the apostrophe button. You can see all that happening down in the bottom uh, corner over here uh, for where it says length and you hit enter, and it will draw a 174 inch. So that's how long your room is. Now, after you've done that, you might want to zoom in a little bit because you know, now you know how big it's going to be. You don't have to be so zoomed out. And then for my particular room, it was 174 inches long, and then the, the width of it, let me get that piece of paper back, was 106. So I'm going up this time. I'm on the green axis, which is totally vertical. I'm going to go up 106, right? And you can see down here, this is where, whenever I'm typing in, this is where it's going to show up, okay? i got to keep it in this direction. But I'm going to type in 106, and I'm going to hit apostrophe, or not apostrophe, I'm sorry, apostrophe would be feet, and then quotation marks would be inches. So I hit enter, and it draws that length. I want to come back this way, 174 inches. And there we go and then down back to my original corner. So we've got that drawn. Now, if you grab this tool, we can come back, and we can probably click on this and hit delete or backspace, I bet. Yeah, close enough. 
and we can delete all the parts of this. We don't need this piece anymore. So we've got our outside walls, and then we can start using the line tool to, to measure different things. Now, if you need to go over a certain distance, they do have a tape measure, which is kind of handy. You can click here, and then you can type in what length you want to come over. Like my first door is 10 inches over. So if I type in 10 inches, the, uh, the tape measure will leave me a little mark right there so I know where to start my door. And my door um, would be 36 inches from there up. So I'll type in 36 inches, starting to get the idea. Now this actually has a, I hit escape. to If I have another line that wants to draw, I hit escape, it can stop that. Uh, they've got an arc drawing tool, which I haven't played around with much. But I would assume if, uh, actually, if I come over 36 inches from here, that make a mark there for me. If I get the arc drawing tool, I might be able to create an arc there from that point to that point. And then now well, maybe it, it might be different. So let me escape, escape that. Let's maybe from here to here. There we go. So you click on the door, and then you can bring it down and create your door opening arc. Hey, that's pretty cool. Okay, so uh, I think there's also ways that you can import words into this and name things. I haven't got that far, but you guys can play around with that. This is just the initial start of it. I've got my room drawn. I've got the door on there. Of course, there's other shapes that I'd have to draw based upon my, my measurements, but it'd be cool to see a, a 3D, not a 3D necessarily, but a uh, computer drawing of your room scale drawing as well. So hope this was helpful for those of you starting on that. Um, and if you have more questions, you know, you're ahead of the game. So just kind of explore all of the different tools that they have over here as uh, you know about as much of the program as I do. Uh, there are some more tools over here uh, and you can just kind of hover over. It'll tell you what it does and, um, you know, just play around with it and try to do your best to recreate your scale drawing virtually on your computer. All right, you guys have a good one.